Hey everyone, today I have a haul. Um, everything is cruelty free, of course. About a week ago, I bought some makeup, and then yesterday, or the day before that, I bought some more makeup um, because I need to um, branch out into cruelty free brands while I purge myself of non cruelty free. I'll start off with the products that I got um, a few days ago. And the first product is the Physicians Formula Youthful Wear Foundation in Light. It's a pretty good foundation. I tried it a couple times. Um, it is not as full coverage as I would like it to be. But I wouldn't say that it is completely horrible. Also from Physicians Formula, I got a concealer. Um, this one is in light as well, and just kind of one of those like lipstick looking concealers. And I've tried this. I like it, but it is definitely not for my under eyes. It almost like accentuates my accentuates my under eyes. And then I got this uh, organic wear mascara which it's upside down. So the packaging is really cute. Um, I like the packaging. I like the the way that it makes my eyelashes look um, but the wand is like super flimsy so it almost kind of like makes a mess on my eyelids sometimes if I'm not super careful. And then it also is a very it doesn't like make your eyelashes really hard after application when it dries it doesn't really dry like it dries a little bit like it's not super wet but if you touch your lashes you're gonna get mascara on your fingers and it's very kind of flaky this is a good mascara to pair with another mascara that does dry um, because I have definitely noticed that um, when I apply it with a different mascara it works better than on its own my last Physicians formula product is this blush and I'm not even sure I think this is a natural yep cashmere wear blush and natural it is super super cute packaging it's like velvety feeling it has a mirror on the back and it's really really pretty I'll swatch it so there's the swatch of that blush it's very um, definitely not a super super pigmented blush um, but it is um, a lot more pigmented than a lot of drugstore blushes that I've tried um, and it's a very natural color so it is more of a light pink okay and then I got a couple of products from Milani the first product I got is this eyeliner in True Black. Um, it's a good eyeliner. I wouldn't say that it... I would prefer for it to be a little bit more creamy, um, but it is a pencil and it's kind of hard to find super creamy eyeliners in a pencil form. Um, but I've been using that and I've really, 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 really been liking it. Um, I like to put a... Um, kind of set it with a black eyeshadow because it just makes it that much darker. And then the other product I got is the Milani Easy Brow. And I am in the color Natural Taupe. So because I dyed my hair darker, um, I needed a darker eyebrow pencil. And I really, really have been loving filling in my eyebrows um, and making them like a little bit more thick. Um, so it's one of those retractable pencils. And then it has, which I really love, pen eyeliner pencils, eyebrow pencils that come with a little spoolie thing on the end because it just brushes out your eyebrows. The rest of the products I got were from Wet n Wild and I got these yesterday um, from Walgreens. Um, so because my like Walmart doesn't carry Wet n Wild products so I went to Walgreens which is a little bit farther of a drive um, because I live in a really small town but um, all the same. I'll show you this mascara first. This is the Mega Plump Mascara in Very Black and I have not tried it yet obviously. I got this lipstick in it's a Mega Shield lip color, SPF 15. Apparently it's new. It's in the color Pink Slip. So there's that. And there's the swatch. It's one of the more matte shades. I prefer... The tree is sticking me in the back. Ugh. I prefer a more matte lipstick. Um, and this is just kind of... It's not like, glittery or like super like shimmery. It just has like a bit of a sheen to it. So um, hopefully I'll like this. Um, the rest of my products are eyeshadows. This one is in Panther, and it is a really, really awesome matte black. Um, I got this for a dupe for one of my Urban Decay eyeshadows. And look at it. That was like a couple swipes, and it is so pigmented. There's that. And it is very matte. That was just rubbing my finger on it. My finger's still black. I hate, hate swatching dark eyeshadows. It kills me. Now I have blackness all over me. I got the eyeshadow tr trio in Silent Treatment. Um, it just has this like 
almost like peachy nude color, um, a dark brown with gold shimmer, and then a, like, I wouldn't say it's like a taupe, it's like, has like a purple tint to it, not even, it's like a silver, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> There's that pink color, which is supposed to be your brow color, and then that is the dark brown, and then that is the silvery purple color, which I'm really, really liking that color, it's a very, like, festive holiday color. This is the Trio and Sweetest Candy, and that is a, like, bone color, a kind of medium brown, and then a kind of pinky nude color. I'm flinging stuff at me. They come with these little applicators. One of them's almost like a brush, and then the other one is like a one of those sponge tips. So those are those colors from that trio. So those are all the products in my haul. I am all swatched up now. I'm going to have to go wash my hands. <laughs> so if you guys want to see any reviews on any of these products, um, just request them below. I'll probably do a review on this, um, and I'm not sure if I'll do a review on this because there's not really much more to say than what I already said in this video. Definitely plan on doing some tutorials with the new Wet n Wild palettes that I got. Um, I really, actually really like them. They're a lot more velvety than I thought they were. Pretty much all of these colors are really, really velvety. Uh, they almost remind me of like Urban Decay eyeshadows. Um, I've never tried MAC eyeshadows, but I've heard that they're similar to those, to that formulation as well. So look forward to some new tutorials. Um, I'm really, really excited to have some new cruelty-free makeup products. So I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh wait, side note, um, I started a daily vlog channel. It's Carissa Ray TV. And um, go subscribe because I've been uploading daily vlogs for about five days now. Um, so that's really exciting. Yay. But yeah, bye.